Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I wanted to test out this Maybelline Superstay foundation. This is the new one. It says Superstay Active Wear up to 30 hours wear. I got it in the shade 02 Naked Ivory. In the original one I did take it in the 03 True Ivory I think it is. And I haven't worn that one in quite a while. I have the tiniest amount left and I've been just saving it for some reason. But I did really like the original. This one, I don't know what the difference is really. It says it's new. And I think they update it every so often anyway. So I believe this is the new one, but I think this is just what the other one's going to become. And eventually I think that one's going to sell out and they'll just keep this one as the Superstay foundation. Because when I did look for it on Superdrug, it didn't necessarily say it was under a certain section. It didn't say active wear on the, like, to the title, the description of it. It kind of just said it and then it was a picture of this one. Whereas the other said it and then it was a picture of that one too. So it was a slight difference, but I'm not really sure what. But I wanted to give this one a go today. I really did like the original or the other one. And this one is just in a slightly different colour. So I thought I'd give it a go. The only thing I'd say with this is that Maybelline didn't really promote it too much. Or if they did, they haven't really put like swatches or colour advice on their website. I had to go onto the Beauty Bay website and it had descriptions of each shade. So it would kind of say a neutral or very fair skin tone for neutral undertones and stuff like that. The same thing they do with their lip glosses. They describe it as like a pink with a pearl with something or other, you know. Um, but otherwise there wasn't really much description. I bought mine from the Superdrug website, but it didn't really have much description of shades on there either. Which I find is quite a disappointment when it comes to foundations. They can at least put it in and just put a quick description of, of the undertone or what sort of shade it is. Because it is hard to tell when it is like numbers or descriptions. Because Naked Ivory, like what does that even mean? Let's find out I guess. So I'm going to take a pump a bit and I'm going to go in my beauty blender I think. This is what I've been using nowadays for a... I used to use a brush a lot, so I didn't really use a beauty blender, but I am going to use a beauty blender today just because this word you know it is. I think this one was described as very fair with neutral undertones, but there was a few that actually said the same thing, so how do you know which shade to choose? They're both very fair with neutral undertones. And why have you not made a either a description showing what each shade is, so how much lighter it is, or made a completely different shade rather than making two which are very fair with neutral undertones make another one with like pink undertones or yellow undertones or make a darker shade or something don't just make something exactly the same with no help of how to choose your shade okay maybe it's because i wasn't using a mirror when i was actually like blending it in but i did find it quite not hard to blend in but there'd be lines of where i've taken it and then put it and then it hasn't blended and it doesn't really seem to be that full coverage either i would just put a little bit more on in the places i need it i probably won't do a wear test today just because it is nearly five o'clock and i don't think i've really got 30 hours to be a uh, testing this out who wears makeup for 30 hours anyway you know i think being the active wear one it does say it is suitable to wear during like working out just because it's like sweat resistant and like water resistant and stuff I don't know why you'd want to be wearing makeup while you're working out, but you do you, boo, you know? Go for it, that's something you want to do, you do it. Only because I don't work out. <laughs> Maybe I, if I actually worked out, I would wear makeup to work out, but I don't work out, so... That's my problem. Okay, so it's terrible lighting in here. It is the winter. But, I think this colour matches me nicely. And it doesn't sit too much in my pores at the moment. It does look quite like softened on my face. Almost quite like powdery looking. It doesn't really feel tacky. It doesn't feel like it's dried down completely. You can kind of feel it slightly. But it hasn't gone like completely powdery or anything. But it looks quite powdery on the skin. And the colour match is good as well. This one. Like I said it's just a struggle to kind of find the one which would be my shade. I was just going to go with 03. Because that's one I've used before in the original one. But I didn't know they'd be the same and also what difference it would be. And also, I wanted to look to see what other shades they did do and try and get a different shade instead. Because I do like that one, but I think it is slightly dark on me. But this one does look like it is a nice colour match. Yeah, I think I'd say it is kind of hard to blend in. Not really hard, but like, with the Beauty Blender, I was kind of going over. And then I'd thought everything would be done. I'd look and there'd be like a line here or a bit there or something I would have maybe missed. But normally, with other foundations, that blends in a lot easier. But I guess because it is a full coverage foundation and it is made to last, maybe it does almost thicken up or dry or like, catch in places quite quickly before you can blend it in but once it's blended it does look really nice the overall look is really nice with it 
Like I say, I like that one for now. I think I'm just gonna have to give it a bit of a wear and a few other times wearing it to see how it goes on my skin. Because sometimes the foundation can look great, but then it starts to separate as soon as your skin gets oily or you've worn it for a while, or it starts to like go into all the creases and your pores and everything. So I definitely have to keep giving this a go and see how I get with anything. But first impressions, I do really like it. I think it's quite similar to the original one, but it does look really nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know how you get with this one, whether you notice there is a difference, whether there even is that much of a difference or not, or whether it is a bit more of just a repackaging and maybe they've updated the ingredients slightly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. It's meant to be suitable for wearing during makeup, like it's sweat resistant and stuff. During makeup, what can I just say? <laughs>